Biometeorologists are interested in determining whether a particular ecosystem is a source or a sink of carbon. Um, to, to do that, we have to know how much carbon is being removed from the atmosphere through photosynthesis uh, from plants and trees. We also have to know how much carbon is being returned to the atmosphere from the soils uh, and, through, and from the trees and plants metabolism. But today we're going to be talking about how we measure uh, the carbon dioxide being released through respiration from soils. And uh, to help us do that, we've got Dr. Paul Jassel from the UBC Biometeorology and Soil Physics Lab to help us walk through a measurement of soil respiration. Paul, can you help us decide how to do this? Sure, Nick. Uh, as you said, that soil respiration is the major component of carbon balance of ecosystems. Let me emphasize that soil respiration is the rate of production of CO2 in the soil. Right. That's what we measure and call it soil respiration. And it has two sources. First is decomposition of soil organic matter. And the second one, which is a significant component, is root respiration. Okay. So obviously, since root respiration is a significant component, when we go to a site and start thinking about measuring soil respiration, we have to keep in mind that we choose locations for measurements and depending upon and the distance from the trees right. and de depending upon the soil moisture and the openness. So Paul, how do you decide how many places to measure soil respiration? Is it, is it just a function of the, the train itself? Yes, Nick, it's a function of the tra train itself yeah. and it depends upon the variability in the landscape. So normally what we do, we select some transects in the east, west and north, south directions and measure every 5 meter or 10 meter, depending upon the area we are covering. And we have also to take into account low-lying areas and uplands where the moisture is low. And we have to select some spots very near to the trees, near to the vegetation, under the shade. So we have to select all type of terrain and to account for special variability to come up with a, a, an average number for the landscape. Okay, we've picked a spot to start measuring soil respiration and what we have here is a custom-made system, uh, a portable soil respiration measurement system made in the UBC Biometeorology and Soil Physics Lab. And Paul, can you tell us a bit about the system and how it's going to help us make a measurement? Sure, Nick. This unit consists of an infrared gas analyzer which measures the CO2 concentration. It consists of a data logger and a storage module which can store data and it consists of a pump and flow meters and power supply. Okay. We switch on the pump. There you go. And pump is sucking air at three liters per minute from the chamber through this tubing and then this tubing is being bypassed uh, a lower rate of flow through the gas analyzer. And as this flow is continuing, circulating from the chamber head space, we are recording the change in concentration. So when the air is circulated through this chamber, through this tubing, and we slip the chamber onto the collar, what we are measuring is the rise in concentration in that chamber head, head space through this analyzer. Okay. And you can see this vent tube. Mm -hmm. As we insert the chamber on the collar, we want to maintain the same pressure as the pressure is outside. Yeah, because we know that the gas transport is very sensitive to pressure changes. Right. So this is the vent tube, which is meant to maintain the pressure inside the chamber during measurements at the same level at the atmospheric pressure. And as you can see, this tubing, there is a spiral tubing inside inside which which helps in mixing up the co2 concentration co2 gas into the chamber head space so that what we measure is the average concentration in the chamber head space well nick as you know now the chamber is on place and gas analyzer is measuring the concentration change in the chamber head space which is re being recorded logged on the data logger as you can see, the concentration here is rising slowly. 
Paul, I noticed there's some other components near the collar. Um, can you explain what, what these uh, parts of the system are? Uh, as you know that soil respiration is sensitive to soil temperature. So every, at every spot we measure soil respiration, we got to measure soil temperature. And this is the thermocouple we use to measure soil temperature at about 2 to 5 centimeters. And since soil water content also is important to, to soil respiration, this is the instrument we call it TDR Hydrosense. We use this to measure soil water content. And in this case, we insert this TDR near the collar uh, to about 10 cm depth and measure the soil, soil moisture content with this instrument. And this is not being logged on this data logger okay. and we, you have to record it directly.